Farming is more than just a job. It's a way of life. It's about family, hard work, and dedication passed down through generations. And in today's digital age, some farmers are finding new ways to share their stories with the world. One family doing just that is the Larsons. From the fields of their family farm to becoming YouTube stars, the Larson family has found a way to blend tradition with technology. Welcome to the incredible story of Larson Farms. Almost half a decade ago, Chet Larson began his journey into content creation with a video that wasn't even a minute long. The simple yet captivating Larson Farms aerial view gave fans a bird's eye perspective of their vast fields. And to their surprise, it blew up. Garnering over 100,000 views, the Larsons realized they had something special. This 50 second video was the beginning of something remarkable. Fast forward a few years, and Larson Farms is now a giant in the farming YouTube community, boasting over 413K subscribers. Talking about the owner of the farm, Chet grew up on the family farm in West Central Minnesota, where his upbringing instilled a strong work ethic. By the age of 17, Chet rented his first farm, taking on the challenges of farming at a young age. His hands-on experience helped shape the future of Larson Farms. Today, Chet plays a key role in the development and success of Larson Farms. But it wasn't always an easy ride. Life has thrown its fair share of challenges at Chet. But through it all, he's proven to be resilient. Larson Farms didn't just become a YouTube powerhouse overnight. While many YouTubers take years to achieve success, Larson Farms reached nearly half a million subscribers in just five years. That's no small feat. Thanks to Chet's dedication and the behind the scenes stories of farm life, viewers connected with him on a personal level. Behind every great man is an equally amazing partner. And for Chet Larson, that partner was Nicole, or lovingly known as Nikki. Their love story began years before they tied the knot. After several happy years together, the couple decided to make it official on January 24th, 2015 in Glenwood, Minnesota. Chet and Nikki exchanged their vows, surrounded by family and friends. It was the beginning of a new chapter, and everything seemed perfect. But life, as we all know, has its unexpected challenges. Back in November of 2020, Nikki received news that would turn their world upside down. She was diagnosed with myeloid sarcoma cancer. After months of grueling treatment, they finally saw a glimmer of hope. Nikki's cancer was responding to the treatment, and for a brief moment, it felt like their nightmare was nearing an end. But that hope was short-lived. While the chemo was helping to fight the cancer, it had weakened Nikki's immune system and she passed away on May 2021 due to pneumonia. And after those gloomy days of his life, Chet later found love in Jean Marie, a licensed nursing home administrator from Appleton, Minnesota. Like Chet, Jean comes from a family deeply rooted in farming, making their connection even stronger. Though we don't know exactly when or how they met, Jean and Chet were first seen together in June 2022, when Jean posted a photo of them on Instagram. Shortly after, she started appearing in Larson Farms videos, and fans couldn't get enough of the duo. In April 23, after dating for several months, Chet popped the big question, and of course Jean said yes. The romantic duo tied the knot on December 8th to a three. The wedding was beautiful, with Chet wearing a sleek black suit and Jean looking stunning in her full white gown. After their wedding, the couple jetted off to Mexico for a late honeymoon, enjoying some well-deserved relaxation. The couple is currently enjoying their marriage to the fullest, with Chet frequently featuring Jean in Larson Farms videos. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button, give us a like, and leave a comment with your thoughts on Chet's inspiring journey. We'll catch you next time here on the channel, where farming life and family always come first.